Dorothy Stover and I am going to share with you two incredible moments of my life that happened on two of the worst days of my life. And I'm doing this to get the conversation started that good things can happen on bad days. Thank you for tuning in. So one of the worst days of my life was the winter of 1998. That's a long time ago. Um, and I was 16 years old. I had just been raped and I was on Nantucket Island and I was wandering, walking in pain, um, was covered in blood and just really rough and in shock. And I was walking up Surfside Road on Nantucket and I was confused and you know all these emotions I don't even know what's going through my head and this man started uh, this taxi started riding up against me um, on the sidewalk on the walkway and stopped and said do you would you like a ride and I kept walking I didn't want him to see my face I didn't want him to see the blood and so I kept walking to make sure I didn't want to be recognized either because I live in a small town so I just kept walking I said no thank you and he kept going along and he said um, are you sure it's really cold out and I said I don't have any money because at that point I just realized that the rapist the man who raped me took my purse as well so I didn't have anything on me and so I told I said to the man I don't have any money and he said that's okay it's really not safe for you out here at this time of night and at that moment I realized I'm like wow he's right it's really not safe for me out here and again not even really registering what just happened to me just thinking this man's right so I just I said okay and I got in the car and I got in a way so that he couldn't see my face couldn't see the front of my body couldn't see the bottom of my body I was really trying to shield again living in a small town I did not want my family to find out I did not want something to get back to my grandfather or my mother or something like that I didn't want anyone to know what had just happened and if this man saw then he would have seen something just happened and perhaps would have told somebody so I got into the car using even using my hair to shield my face and he said where are you going and the only thing I could think about to go to because I was afraid to go home because I didn't want to get in trouble um, and in my teenage brain I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna get in trouble for this and reality is I'm not going to get in trouble for it but anyway so in my mind I'm like all right Surfside Shack at that point the Surfside Shack literally was a shack it was like four by four barely anything it was like a shed uh, that they would do like hot dog hot dogs and hamburgers out of so I thought of some place that he could drive me near there or I'm like okay sometimes the Surfside Shack is open and you can sit there and I could it's cold so I wanted to like be out of the cold and so that's what I was thinking the Surfside Shack so I told him Surfside Beach uh, my house is right by there it wasn't but he drove me he dropped me off at a house and he was like are you sure this is your home and, um, and I'm like yes this is my house and he's like are you sure and I'm like yes and I said thank you for the ride and I got out and I saw him drive away and then I went over to the Surfside Shack walked over unfortunately it was closed and locked and so I wasn't able to get in and I was freezing I was trying to think of what I could do and um, I don't really remember from there I just remember waking up on the other side of the island on Steps Beach and uh, waking up on the beach and walking home so on this particular day, right, I had just been raped, but then this kind, kind man showed me who, who most of us are, right, looking out for other people. And so that's really something that's really stayed with me over these years is the good in the world. That even when the bad shows up, the worst of, you know, the worst of people, the good of people also shows up as well. So just that reminder that good can happen on bad days and good people can show up on bad days as well. So a huge thank you to that man. I've actually never thanked him. I don't know who he is. He had gray hair, 1998. So if anyone knows of a taxi driver on Nantucket that picked up a girl in the middle of winter, 
and uh, please let me know his name so I can thank him. Um, that would be very special. So yes, this, I would love to get the conversation going. I have another one I'll share in another video of one of the worst, uh, one of the best things that happens on me on, on a worst day. And I'm sharing these so that other, it gets the conversation going to help other people share of great things, good things that have happened on really bad days. And open us up for vulnerability, but then also open us up for honesty, truth, and healing. Um, that's a big part of my mission is bringing more love into the world and helping people heal and thrive in life. So this is just one way, and I'm doing a contest. So if you share your own story, whether it's on my website, uh, you can email your story to me, um, or post a video just like this, tag me at DorothyDStover.com, or at DorothyDStover, or at The Love School with Dorothy, then you'll be entered to win. I have a um, healing and happiness course from The Love School coming up. And so you'll be able to enter a spot in that. Or if you're not into that, you'll also be able to be entered into win a healing and a reading from me. So I look forward to sharing space with everybody and you know, learning your stories, hearing your stories, as well as sharing your stories. And I appreciate all those that share and open that space of vulnerability and open that space that there is good in the world and a lot of good in the world outweighs the bad thank you again sending love peace love and hugs bye for now